In this video, we will look at two examples to practice working with volume and surface area of composite solids. In example A, it says find the volume of the solid below. And what we have is a parallelogram based prism, which is this green part. Here's our parallelogram base. And the other one is on the other side over here. And subtracted from that or removed from the middle is this cylinder. So we want the volume of the remaining portion. So the volume that we want will be the volume of the prism minus the volume of the cylinder. So we have to figure out the volume of each and then subtract them. So for the prism, the volume of a prism is the area of its base times the height. So the area of the base, if we look down here, remember that the area of a parallelogram is sort of base times height. So since this base here is 25 centimeters and the height is 25 centimeters, the area of the base will be 25 times 25. So that's the area of the base and then we want to multiply by the height of the whole prism which is 30. So that means that the volume of the prism is 18,750 centimeters cubed. So that's the volume of the prism. Now for the cylinder, the volume is pi r squared times height. And in this case, we know that diameter is 8, which means that the radius will just be 4. And the height is 30, just like it was for the prism. So it's pi times 4 squared times 30, which is 480 pi. Now, we just want to subtract these two values in order to figure out our total volume. So the total volume is 18,750 minus 480 pi, and all of that is centimeters cubed. So that will be our total volume. Of course, you could approximate 3.14159 or something like that for pi in order to get an approximate answer, or you can leave it like this. In example B, it says find the surface area of the following solid. So what we have here is a cylinder. That's this bottom portion that has a height of 13 and its radius will be six. And on top of that is a hemisphere. It's half of a sphere with a radius of six. So we wanna figure out the surface area of this whole thing. So what we have is sort of three pieces. We have the circle on the bottom we have the lateral surface, which is a rectangle when unwrapped, and we have half of a sphere surface area. So let's do each of those pieces. The circle on the bottom will be pi r squared. The lateral surface is 2 pi r times h. Half the surface area of a sphere, well, the whole sphere is 4 pi r squared, so half of that would be 2 pi r squared. So this will be our total surface area, and we just need to substitute in what we know, which is that the radius is 6 inches, and the height is 13 inches. So let's substitute those in. We have pi times 6 squared, plus 2 times pi times 6 times 13, plus 2 times pi times 6 squared again. So when we simplify this, we have 36 pi plus 156 pi plus 72 pi. And combine all of those together, and you get 264 pi. And then our units will be inches squared, because we're talking about surface area. One thing to be careful of is that you did not include the area of this top circle, which we'd normally include in the surface area of a cylinder, because be 
when we have the hemisphere and the cylinder combined, that top circle is no longer part of the surface area. It's not visible from the outside.